But like, yo, let's start with this one festival. Just uh, the the one music festival. Let's get it. Oh yeah, hey, man. Yo, this is a crazy lineup, bro. Hey, I told you it's wild. Put it on the um on the screen. Yeah, I'm about to throw it up right now. Yo, that hey. the, the whole damn music industry gonna be gonna be in Atlanta, bro. That yeah. that shit look fire. But yeah, all right, gotta upload it. Go ahead, I'm listening. It's wait. So let me let's put it up. And can we get the old? Let me see if I can. Let me see if I can get uh broccoli city. You want to get the one from the year before? No, 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 no. I want to see if I can get broccoli city. All right, broccoli city is in D.C. Yeah. For those uh that aren't as uh knowledgeable. All right, so let me throw this up. I just got this. Da, 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 da. Come on, come on. There we are. <clears throat> okay, so and bam. Mm -mm. So uh you got Cardi B, you got Gunner, <clears throat> you got Jill Scott, Victoria Monet, Earth Wind, and Fire. Yo, the the big names on the left, the yellow ones, that's a crazy it's nasty. <laughs> That's crazy. Then you got Sexy Red, Glorilla, Keisha Cole, Fantasia, Nelly, Ari Lennox, Young Nudie, T.I., Monica, DJ Mustard and Friends, which means anybody from the West Coast, uh, Larry June. Shout out to Larry June. I'm trying to see him when he come to Baltimore. Drew Hill, Method Man, Red Man, Friday, Boss Man, D-Lo, Big X, The Plug, Plies, The Baby, Jeremiah. Fat Joe, Saucy Santana. What is Saucy Santana going to do? Uh, DJ Mars, Block Party, Carrie Hilson, Leon Thomas, Destin Conrad, dope R&B singer, by the way. Lloyd? Oh, they got wow. a King Ali on there. Shout out to my brother. Shout out to my dog, man. Your boy LaRussell going to be there. Oh, this is uh, insane. Little, little brother? What? R That's crazy. Rich boy. They're going to bring Rich boy out? What? Rich boy selling crick. Uh, Young Bloods, Travis Porter, Travis. I haven't seen or heard nothing from Travis Porter in 20 oh. years. Crime Mob, Trillville. They put, wait, where the hell did y'all find Trillville? Young Dro, <laughs> the Eastside Boys. Wait a minute, how are we going to do the Eastside Boys without yeah, no uh, Lil, John. Lil John? Yeah, with no Lil John. That's wild. Uh, Kwani Cash, okay. Mike, Michael Montana, Fat Man Scoop, Fat Man Scoop. Trap Beckham, that's your boy. That's my dog. Trap Beckham. One time for the birthday. They got yeah. fly, uh, fly. That's that's the swag surf yep. niggas. Yep, yep. And then you got Kenya Vaughn, Jalen Josie, and Deja Dorn. I hope I'm saying it right. And then DJ Drama and Friends, which probably means he's gonna bring out uh anybody that's on his squad. So you might see Lil Uzi. You might see uh, what's the white boy name? That signed to him? Uh, uh Jack, Jack Harlow. Harlow. So you might get a glimpse of them if if they get the bag up. Yo, this isn't this is probably one of the best um lineups I've seen in a while. But this being 15 years though, I, and I see they they went and grabbed some some legendary Atlanta based artists. But I feel like it might be a couple people missing off this list, man. I feel like it All might right. So you feel like they should have added new edition? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. The fact that I saw Drew Hill up there, I was like, damn, they 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 got it right. Yeah, yeah. Drew Hill is, is lit for sure. Like, how you got Drew Hill? Oh wait, I thought he wasn't supporting Friday no more. Or was that somebody else? I don't even know who that is. You know why we not No, no, not Friday. Friday. It's not I'm sorry, y'all. Sorry, guys. It's not Friday. It's it's Vori. It's Vori. Hey, what he do? I think he was like, I don't know, beating on his shorty or something like that. But don't don't quote me, guys. Ah, damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. But the fact they got Monica, Drew Hill, Keisha Cole. I mean, I'm not even Jill Scott. I'm not even talking about like the left side. Cardi B is the fact that it's Cardi B is just it's different. This is different. This is different. And then when you go when you go down, they got Eastside Boys, Crime Mob, Trillville. You talking about the, Travis Porter? We talking about nostalgia that's fire right there like that's fire that's fire and i see has victoria has victoria monet done enough to be included in the the, the five big bold ah that's crazy she's got, that, cause I didn't... she's got two radio records that are still fire right now uh she's done some big shows she did the bt she performed at the bt awards i think she performed at the grammys 
But like she's hot right now. She's 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 one of those high level R and B acts right now. That's 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 cracking. To be amongst I don't, Cardi B, gonna just squat, just got an Earth Wind and Fire. I, I sometimes, think sometimes, sometimes you know that's just some label might have kicked up some bread to put on that side. Mm. But I definitely, I definitely would have put Sexy Red there in, instead of Victoria Monet. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or Glorilla. I'd have put Glorilla Glow. there. You know what I mean? I feel like those names are big enough draws, in my opinion. Yeah, I don't uh, think Victoria Monet belongs there over Sexy Red, over Glorilla, over shit, Keisha Cole, over Fantasia, over Nelly, over Ari Lennox, over shit, right. a lot. T.I. is, I mean, yeah. Yeah, like, uh, I mean, I do, I do fuck with that one song on my mama, though. That's probably one of the. Yeah, I fuck with her. Yeah, that, I fuck that was, with her. But I don't think, yeah. Earth, Wind, and Fire. Oh, my God. Yeah, they're acting crazy with this list. This is a crazy list. So I tried to I tried to to compare, but it's not even a fair comparison. I don't even gotta pull it up. I pulled up Broccoli City, um Broccoli City list, and it's dope, especially from because it's in a DMV. But it's like, yeah, it's not even they had Victoria Monet, they had Megan Thee Stallion, they had Gunner, they had Party Next Door, Key Glock, Friday, V's, Tizo Touchdown, Sexy Red, uh Lil Yachty. But yeah, that's not yeah. This one music fest is crazy. Insane. That's insane. So we seen. Let's get to the. Let's get to the. Uh, the crux of the matter. We seen Fabo in the comments saying this is mm-hmm. dope, but basically, um, like he he wants to be there, right? Right. Mm-hmm. You want to read yeah. the comment? What exactly did he say? I don't. I don't want to misquote him. Yeah, no. His comment was just the fact that he um. What he said, I'm pulling it up right here. He said, this is awesome for the city. One day I'll be on this stage like these artists. And, you know, I feel like if if they got Travis Porter. Talk about it. And, and Trillville and Eastside Boys with no Lil John, they can put they can put Fabo on there. And me and Jay, we just had the opportunity to see Fabo recently perform. Very energetic guy. Very good set. Good, good set. He got the classic. He's gonna dance. He's gonna interact with the crowd. He gonna he gonna be a, a dope act. And I, I I feel like for him to never have been on a one music fest stage, and it's been fifteen years, is kind of insane to me. Mm. Kind of insane. So, but hopefully they seen the comments and hopefully they reach out to him to have him come. I mean, he can come do two three songs. You know what I mean? Get it in. You know what um, I don't like? I um. I, I I think that is unfortunate. I don't want to see him in the comments saying that. I know, well, but how do you get there though? Yeah, I know, but I think that's the that's the, the the con of this. I don't know this celebrity life. I guess I don't know. I don't know the exact term I'm looking for, but it kind of looks it looks worse than what it actually is. Yeah, like begging. It, yeah, it's like Fabo. Like we, I think you belong there. I don't want to see you in the comments. Let us fight for you. Right? Yeah. Like Oh yeah, yeah, as fans. Yeah, so it's like, but I agree with him though. So at the at the end of the day, I understand. Like I think because when we went to um don't judge me, guys, but I don't know why I'm I didn't mean to say that. I'm sorry. We was at uh ATL Greek picnic and he was performing, and I thought it was dope. And it was surprising because you know, like I don't, you know, I'm not I don't know, I'm not the biggest Greekiest person right in my circle by far so like when i was there i was actually enjoying the show i'm like oh this is good and it made me it, it made me think of other festivals and other shows like i just did i just did a uh, texas greek picnic and they had um look if you book why look if you book crime up right and i was like bro this is this makes sense because these songs as nostalgic right it it, it it makes us think back at a time well the older greeks if anything it makes me think of a time like when i was in college and we was actually partying to these songs so like things like that is the reason why we like old school r and is the reason why we like like old school songs because like it makes us it's put us in a space of yo i remember when i was there when i was in college i was doing this so like to see fabo on there i think that's a great set i don't think you lose i, I think it's a win-win 